Who are you to inspire Ada? What do you think you know? Who is going to listen to your advice? Who do you think you are? I thought I might just quit. The first thing I learned in school is I was ugly. I remember vividly a boy sitting two rows in front of me, turned back and looked at me. He turned to his friend, another boy, and said, her skin is so ugly, isn't it? I mean, I have dark skin and I was bullied for it. I remember they called me the black goat. They would read aloud the story, the white goat and the black goat meeting on a bridge and laugh. I just cover my face in my hand, trying to not cry. When you were small and you get bullied by things that is you and things that you could not change, like the color of your skin, you might start thinking that there is something wrong with you. That's what happened to me. So by the time I reached 13, I was convinced that there was something wrong with me. My self-esteem was destroyed and I started having suicidal thoughts. Uh, I remember one whole week uh, when I collected sleeping pills around the house. My mother was a doctor. I put it in a small porcelain teacup so that one day I could eat it. I never take the sleeping pills because I was afraid of pain. But I still needed a way to compensate for my lack of self-worth and my low self-esteem and my insecurity. So I decided that I would become perfect. I would be a perfect student, a perfect daughter. I would be perfect at work, especially at work. I would have a lot of achievement. I thought that if I were perfect, then eventually people would love me, that I would be loved and accepted. But it didn't happen like that. So I was trying to be perfect until I, I, I was 24. And from the outside, I have everything that um, I thought I wanted, but inside I was not happy. I was actually depressed, but I did not tell anyone because I was ashamed. Um, because my whole life was building up to that success. I was living abroad, have really big job title, I was traveling a lot, but I was not happy. I hit rock bottom of my unhappiness and my insecurity and my low self-esteem that I knew I needed to change. So during that time, I discovered that there was two things that missing in my life. The first was self-love. I hated myself and I abused myself in so many different ways. And the second thing that was missing was uh, that I wasn't following my, my calling, my, my real passions and my soul's calling. I decided then that I would need to change. I left my old life behind. I went back to Vietnam. I started to do what I wanted to do. I started blogging. I always wanted to become a writer. So I just started writing a lot. I wrote about anything that I ever wanted to write about. And I discovered that I really want to inspire other. But I was 24. Inside my mind, I had so many doubts. There's more voice that say, who are you to inspire other? Who, what do you think you know? Who is going to listen to your advice? There are experts out there who have years of real experience. Who do you think you are? For some day, it was so loud and was so hard that I thought I might just quit and get a real job. <laughs> there was one night when I spoke for free at an event and after I finished my talk, a woman came up to me and hugged me and she cried and she told me how my blog helped her through her depression. That moment made me realize that you never know whose life is going to change until you start sharing more of yourself. I had a decision that I need to make. Will I follow my fear or will I follow my soul's calling? Will I listen to the fearful voice of my ego or will I listen to my heart? And so I decided to follow my soul's calling. I decided to follow my heart. That changed everything. Five years have passed from that moment and I have written a book, I've published my book, I've spoken in many different countries, I've led workshops all around Vietnam and abroad. And if there's one thing that I've learned through that journey is that you will never be ready. If you wait until you feel confident, if you wait until you stop feeling afraid to start doing 
what you want to do, that day will never come. It's okay to be afraid. The key is to feel the fear and do it anyway. Is to do it while you are being afraid. I am afraid right now, like right now, um, and that's that. That's courage. When you feel it and you let yourself being afraid, and at the same time you let yourself follow in your heart anyway. Doing things while being afraid is the only way I know how to do everything. Uh, I'm constantly afraid, and I'm constantly following my heart. And that is something that you can do too. If me, a girl who struggled with insecurity for almost all her life, someone who collected sleeping pills in her teenage year, and someone who struggled with depression and right now still very prone to anxiety and depression, can follow her heart. Of course, you can. Keep following your crazy heart and keep feeling the fear and doing it anyway. So, in the last five years of following the path of inspiring others, I noticed that I did something that I did not have a name for it back then. Right? I was always very aware of how powerful the internet could be, how powerful blogging could be, social media, and creating content online. I was also very aware of how I present myself online, like the images that I put out, the words that I put out, and I didn't know that that was called personal branding. Thanks to personal branding, I was able to reach so many people in such a short amount of time, and that's why I decided to host a workshop on personal branding in Ho Chi Minh City. And this workshop will be perfect for you if you want to inspire others, if you have something in your heart that you want to share, you are afraid, and you don't know how to begin. If you feel in your heart that you want to share your lesson, share your story. Come to personal branding with Soul. Uh, we will start from 1:30 and finish at 7:30 p.m. this Sunday. Six hours. Uh, we will do a lot of things and have a lot of fun. I promise that you will walk away from that workshop with real knowledge, real plan, be inspired to take action to start doing it now. I hope to see you there. I love you. <laughs>